Hey guys, welcome back. I'm constantly looking for the little tweaks I can make in my life that will have the biggest effects. And the highest leverage thing I've ever found is making tweaks to my mindset. So this week, we're gonna talk all about ways that you can upgrade your mindset. Here are two easy things that you can implement every day to cultivate a better mindset. First is bring more intention and purpose into everything that you do. When you're very clear about what you want to accomplish in a day or why you're doing a certain activity, you're going to do it harder with more effort. You're going to have a better attitude. You're going to accomplish more. So one way, one easy and tactical way that I do that, that I mentioned last week with the index card example, is that I write down specifically the three things that I want to accomplish that day. To make it even more powerful, I put them in order of importance. So I put the very most important thing earliest in the morning so that if life gets in the way, at least I'm getting the most important things early in the morning so that if something derails me later on in the day, I've already got the really important things done. Number two, this is one of the most powerful rituals that I've ever had, and it's a nightly journal. What I would do is very simple. I just go throughout my day, look at all of the circumstances, all of the interactions I had throughout the day, and I look at what I did, what my intention was, and I kind of grade myself. I give myself an objective feedback on how that interaction went. Do I want, did I do well, or is there something I could have done even better? Over time, you'll see that you get, you end up giving yourself a ton of really useful feedback so that you can interact with people better, you can make better decisions, and you can reach your, your goals a lot faster. I believe that human beings are naturally pretty reactive. And with someone with an untrained mind, someone says something to us and we immediately just react on the first thought that comes into our head. The thing that's been the most impactful for me and being more responsive versus reactive is just simply mindfulness meditation. So by sitting with my own thoughts and cultivating the practice of watching my thoughts and my feelings as they happen has allowed me and given me this little gap in between what someone says to me and my response. So it gives me a little bit of space to see what they say, see see my own thoughts as they arise, and then choose something that's, um, that serves me and serves the person that I'm interacting with. When most people hear the word mindset or think about cultivating a better mindset, they usually think of things that happen solely in the mind, like having more focus or being mentally more tough. Those things are great, and there are also things that help you cultivate a better mindset that have solely that solely have to do with changing your environment. So let's look at self-control as an example. On one hand, there's self-control, there's in the moment self-control, which is a like mental gymnastics type exercise. Then there is self-control that has to do with changing your environment. So let's pretend we're at a restaurant and the waiter or waitress brings chips and salsa. There's in the moment self-control whereby you just simply don't pick up the chip and salsa. That takes a ton of energy and we know that willpower, right, that in the moment self-control is finite and will run out. On the other hand, there's environmental self-control. Thereby, we would just ask the waiter or waitress to take the chips and salsa away and thus making the decision for us. So when thinking about upgrading or, or working on your your mindset in general it's great to focus on things that happen solely in your mind but also realize that your environment plays a huge role in the way that you think and what you believe so that could be taking the chips and salsa off the table it could be not keeping junk food in your house it could be uh, making sure that you're surrounding yourself with like-minded people that pick you up and build you up um, it could be a number of different things that help support the type of mindset that you're trying to cultivate. Like I said, guys, I've found that the highest leverage thing you can do in your life is make small tweaks to your mindset. The smallest little change in the way, the, what you believe or the way that you think can have huge impacts on everything else in your life. So 
I really challenge you and encourage you to continue practicing and cultivating your better mindset, and I'll see you next week.